Czech nymphin or European nymphin. Um, I'm pretty new to this. Um, I had the good fortune of meeting a fellow fisherman, a school teacher, who uh, gave me a little bit of bankside instruction, and I was impressed with how many fish it caught on that day. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started tying up some more tungsten beaded flies and looked at loads of YouTube videos and uh, I got an idea of what I was going to do. I had several outings with virtually nothing. That could have been the fish or it could have been me. Another strange thing with this Czech nymphin is how often I'll catch a fish on this sort of garish pink object. As you gather, I'm doing a, a voiceover on my video because there's long periods of silence when I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing. And multitasking is, is not a feature I'm noted for. God, I was lucky there, I got away with that. Stuck it right in the tree. I'm just trying to... So basically what you're trying to do with this uh, type of nymphin is to keep control of the flies that bounces along the bottom. Here we go. Right. This feels a bit trouty. And as you can see, I'm into a fish here. And not a bad size. Interestingly, I find with most of the trout that when they're, when they're hooked deep down in the water, they tend to fight fairly deep down. which is a blessing from the splashing around the top and shedding hook in an instant. It's fighting quite deep at the moment because to my indicator there that's just coming out of water that's seven feet down. I know pretty well the uh, contours of this bit of river I'm fishing. So uh, Sometimes you'll see me casting out or dropping the nymphs much further than would be normal for Czech nymphing. And so far I haven't seen it. It's either a brown trout or a sea trout. And it looks like another sea trout. I'm using a soft action 10 foot 6 rod and the great thing with these soft action rods is you can hold the fish quite tight and let the spring of the rod tie them out. That's taking the smaller fly. It's 
It's a beautiful fish, this. I hazard a guess at about two and a half pounds. It's pretty thick across the back. I'm sorry about the camera position. Hmm. Well, actually, I think it's more like they have, it looks more like a brown trout. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a brown trout. But nevertheless, a nice fish. Come on, let me get this out. I went to tip it out, but the net folded, so I had to sort of flick it back. And with the fish jumping around, it wasn't too too happy being flicked around. it. Marvellous fly and I'd say about two and a half pounds. Come on, out you go. That's it. It's away anyway. A oh, bit of fun. Right, I've uh, had some nice fish. I've had uh, four grail in, two trout, one sea trout, and lost uh, another big trout. And I'm just coming back into here where I had a couple of grail in before, and I've put on a change of flies. I'm just wading in here gingerly because it. It shelves, not by very much, but it's quite <coughs> it's quite steep and the the rocks are quite slippery. I've shortened this particular clip down by ten minutes because I thought there was a limit to how many casts of me catching nothing you wanted to see. Although normally with this check in fin you fishing with virtually either your rod length or less um, because some of the fish are lying further away I've got to um, flick the fly out quite a bit further and just rely on the rod holding and positioning to uh, keep in contact. A bit of uh, aquatic furniture as you can see, I'm bringing in a piece of rubbish. Some pools are bottom. Uh, the pool is a complete nightmare and there's a total waste of time trying it because what happens is you just lose tackle. I had a really good day that day and I, I went the day after which was even better in the sense of cloud cover and had a very poor day. Here we go. It's a brown trout I think, yeah. These fish are so strong you wouldn't believe it. Nice brown trout too, as you, you probably saw as it came out of the water. Now what you get is that really dogged, head-shaking fight. I must admit it's nice fishing with the fine wire barbless hooks that you make your check nymphs from because you can release the fish knowing that you've done it absolutely minimum of harm. I've gone for the uh, 
like the March Brown version for a chick nymph that have gone on the bottom. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing or just saying you like the video or saying you don't like the video if you want, uh, at least it gets me up on the YouTube algorithm. I've got an awful lot of videos in my head. It's just a case now of getting them onto onto the screen. I'm afraid there'll be no fish on arm waving hysterics. It's, I'm just one of these quieter people. I suddenly woke up again. There we are. Mm. Good. Good pound and a half anyway. It's a really soft net mesh that. It's sort of very gentle on the fish. If I was going to be arrived out of the water I'd like to lie in that mesh. Oh, that's it. It's dropped out. Good. Swim out, there we go. Bye for now.